I haven't been going out much. I've been mostly here at the house trying to help my wife with the baby. I've been taking this time to do some writing. Well, first and foremost, I became a father since I last talked to people on YouTube. Being a father feels like getting promoted to a job that I've never worked at. It's like one day I'm the mailroom guy, and the next thing you know, I'm the senior executive partner at a law firm. Meanwhile, I don't know shit about law, and I keep getting this fear that I'm going to drop the law on its head. Then I think, why is the law crying now? I just burped and changed it five minutes ago. I guess my point is that fatherhood feels like a responsibility that you would think requires a license. But then again, when you look at your baby's eyes, you think maybe everyone should be allowed to feel this way. Maybe everyone should at least be allowed the opportunity to be a parent. Even if some of them are a bunch of mouth-breathing idiots with nothing to offer the world except grief. Anyway, I'm over here getting all sentimental and mushy. In the meantime, everything has been going steady so far. I've been staying home and watching the world through social media. Apparently, a melted Napoleon Dynamite tried to assassinate Donald Trump. And talk about ugly. This kid had a face that only a deep state handler could love. Only good thing that came out of this is that apparently a lot more of us are qualified to be Secret Service agents than we previously thought. It must be because of a self-esteem issue, because one of them was built like my aunt. Speaking of self-esteem, the Hawk Tua girl is doing podcasts and has representation from an agency now. Man, talk about a sign of the times. One girl's dick-sucking technique just catapulted her to a life with better health care. If I'm being perfectly honest, I would be lying if I said that I didn't feel some kind of discouragement from watching this girl basically faceplant into an entertainment career. But I do believe that that is the name of the game we're playing. To be upset at that girl is like being mad at someone for winning the lottery. Most of the entertainment business is luck. And if you happen to be prepared and or talented, you can end up going far. What else? The Euro Cup just happened. You know, for all the shit that America gets about being racist, the Europeans sure love celebrating a sport where they break up into races and compete to see who's the superior team, I guess. Although, in their defense, they do have a lot of black folks on the German team. By which I mean one. But then again, the Boston Celtics are mostly black, so I guess all is fair in love and sports. The Olympics had their opening celebration. I didn't really watch it, but I've seen some stills that show a bunch of weird-looking people dancing. Then they somehow end up in a Last Supper pose. A lot of people started complaining that it was anti-Christian messaging. Well, I feel like, first of all, God can take care of himself. Secondly, we can't start accusing everyone of anti-Christian messaging every time gays and fat women dance. I mean, if that was the case... Lizzo would be considered the Antichrist. Oh yeah, the president quit running for president. That was unexpected. Then he had his vice president run instead. How crazy is that? That's like right before getting married, I told my wife that I'm not feeling so good. So here's my cousin, Mark. I know you didn't choose him, babe, but we pretty much hold the same ideals. Plus, and we're both going to end up fucking you anyway. What's the difference? You know, sometimes I'll be thinking about something. And I see my son and I just can't help but drop everything going on in my head. Then I just sit there and stare at him. Well, maybe for about a minute. The only thing that sucks about having a kid after turning 40 is that now I have to stay in shape so that I can play catch with him when he's older and I'm ancient. The good part is that I've seen enough of the world to give him advice on a lot of things. I can just picture myself getting carted away after tearing a hamstring playing catch in the backyard. And then as I'm getting wheeled off, I pause my aching to say, Remember, son, these money-hungry bitches want to taste your wealth. That's why you got to keep them on a diet. The great fabulous said that. Speaking of women, I couldn't help but feel a newfound respect for moms. That shit is no joke. 
My wife was in a lot of pain and I felt awful because there was nothing that I could do. It's like you can walk her all the way to the front door of a haunted mansion. But after that, all you can do is give her a kiss on the forehead and a pat on the butt as she walks in to retrieve our baby. I'm very happy with my life and my family. I feel like I'm in a good place and I believe that this is going to propel me forward. That being said, this is what I'm going to teach my son. Family is everything and everything is funny. <laughs>